First stands for for inspiration. For inspiration. For inspiration and recognition. And recognition of science and technology. A lot of people think that it's BattleBots. Well, is it BattleBots? Most people think it's BattleBots. It's not BattleBots. It's not BattleBots. It's a really fun program that we do. Where they brainstorm and plan a robot that can complete the challenges. And we all work together as a team and learn a lot from it. You only have six weeks to build your robot, which seems like a lot of time, but it's not. As we get later and later, it gets more and more rushed, and there's a lot more pressure on us. Getting the robot to center itself along the vision targets was the biggest challenge. We finally got that to work, but that was the day before competition. So, a little down to the wire. We had built a thing for our gears to fall into, and it worked perfectly. But we went into the practice round, and we couldn't get any of our gears in. I was so frustrated when it didn't work, but when we finally fixed it, I was like, oh, okay, we're, we're okay. The world's not ending. So it's kind of hectic at times, but then when you get together, it really surprised me how easy we can figure things out. You have to give them an opportunity to fail as well as succeed. So there'll be a few trials that didn't go so well, and they just kind of say, okay, then we'll step back and let's look at that again. And the worst thing is just having a mentor that can't let a team fail once or twice. It's more important to learn from your mistakes. We had a lot of things break. Our climber broke, our autonomous kept messing up. By the end of qualifiers, we were ranked, I believe, 42nd place. However, we'd also fixed everything. In the very last match of qualifiers, we went against the top-ranked alliance, and we won, which is pretty darn awesome. The thing that really gets us going is to have a young team in here, and they bring in something, and they think it's a catastrophic failure, and they don't have any hope, and we put hope back in their eyes by fixing something that they thought was a really major thing, you know? That is one thing that I truly enjoy, is the gracious professionalism. Everybody has a tendency to help everybody, and they make things happen. If someone's in trouble, they usually dig in and help each other out. seconds autonomous. And that is when the robots are only controlled by the autonomous code put in them, not by the drivers at all. And then you go into your teleop. And during that time, the robots are directly controlled by the drivers. They score points by getting either gears or by getting fuel loaded into the boilers. And then at the very end you climb. You don't know if your robot's going to catch onto the rope or if your robot's even going to fly off. It's a nerve-wracking game. coach ended up having to move, uh, so we didn't have an actual mentor. We have a lot of re really good resources for building robots, but it's been a battle of like, trying to have people give their time. The first couple of years we had a, a few kids that the parents just brought them and dropped them off. And then when they finally came to the competition, they said, I wish we would have known you were doing that. This is cool. Our mentors are really good about helping us along and saying, all right, so what broke, what do we need to fix? and then keeping people from freaking out. I've had two or three that have gone on to college that I don't think would have gone to college. A girl last year, she joined with our program, just kind of curious about it, it changed her life. To see that happen and see these kids smile and all that. If I hadn't done pre-engineering and done robotics, I probably would have been stuck in something that wasn't for me. And with the degree I'm going, I'm going for mechanical engineering. And seeing I can do safety, I can do environmental, I can do pretty much anything I want and adapt as my career goes on. If someone's interested in programming, learning to draft, design, build robots, maybe do some public relations or business work, first is the program for them. It's really an extracurricular program that allows any student of any interest to find a role. It's just fun. Like I said, well, I won't go into engineering field. Neither am I. But this teaches things that almost no other program does. You may think, oh, I'm not an engineer. Oh, I don't know math, this and that. Everything you need to know, you'll learn. And then you just get to come and have fun. How many other people do you know that say, hey, I built a robot? Who gets to say that? <laughs>